Hey everyone, TragicMTG here with PackBot again to do some random booster packs, completely randomized. I have no idea what's in here, right? So let's see what we got from the pack dispensing robot. First up, Planar Chaos. Very cool. Some slivers. Again, expert level. Don't even try it if you're a novice uh, planeswalker, Magic the Gathering player. Let's see what we get out of here. Dead and gone. Very cool. So, oh, reflex slivers. So I'm going to pull all the slivers, which I just got three in a row. That's pretty nice. Um, Dash Hopes is a good card. We'll pull that one. Reality Acid. I think that might be a good card worth scanning up. We're going to scan all the, um, the good ones. What a bunch of good commons right there. That was a great section. So, we'll get into some uncommons now. Let's see. We got Dismal Failure. Dark Heart Sliver, oh my gosh, and a Damnation. Did I miss an Uncommon? I must have. Well, no, I got a Double Rare, unbelievable. Boom or Bust? Well, that was a hot pack right there. That is very strange, I don't know. I don't think I've opened much Planar Chaos. Was that a thing where you got two rares instead of three Uncommons? I'm happy one way or the other. So off to a good start right here. Um, let's start scanning some of this stuff up. Um, turn on the scanner. Uh, not all of the slivers are going to be worth the bunch, but there's a good one. Two bucks. Essence Warden is a pretty good card. A Sinew Sliver. And it scanned the wrong version, but, you know, it's probably about the, the same price. Wow, I, this is like the best pack ever. Reality Acid, I think, is an okay card as well. Eh, okay. It's not the best. Dash Hope should be around a buck. Yeah, 99 cents. Spinning Sliver and Pull to Sliver might not be a whole lot. But I'm going to check them. And Reflex Sliver might be a little bit better. Or not. Okay, there we go. So let's scan up this Boom and Bust. Is it Boom or Bust? 293. But the big winner, clearly. This is Damnation for four. It's a sorcery. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. Amazingly good card. $31.99. We are well on our way to having a good pack opening here. Hopefully that's... My luck will continue here with the next pack, which is going to be a pack of Dominaria. Probably not as good, but fun nonetheless. I can't even believe all the good commons and uncommons I got out of that pack. So an opt, it's pickable, um, but I don't think it really is worth too much now. Yeah, it's just uh, been reprinted now enough. The invasion version might be worth some still. Um, commons and Dominaria, there's really not a whole lot to like. Nature Spiral, Knight of Malice, Siege Gang, Commander for the rare, and a Foil Guy's Blessing, and a Valdic Keeper of the Flame for the legendary uncommon. What's a Siege Gang Commander go for? 75 cents. Not so bad. I will put the foil somewhere. This and that. There we go. Alright, next up. Pack of Dark Steel. Very good possibilities out of this pack. Let's see how we do. Going all the way back to 2004. It says down there. Got some Arcbound stuff, some Krark Clan stuff, the Chittering Rats. Some of these rats I always check. Um, yeah, it's not bad for a common that fits into the the rat tribal decks that may exist, I imagine. Drooling Ogre. Uh, Tears of Rage, Dark Steel Gargoyle, Psychic Overlord. I'm sorry, Overload. And a Turn the Tables. It's five for an instant. All combat damage that would be dealt to you this turn is dealt to target attacking creature instead. Pretty high casting cost for something like that. So it's just bulk status. So there you go. Next pack. Conspiracy. Take the crown. Take it if you can. I never get to play with this set. I don't get to play a whole lot. I'm just a pack opener guy. Alters Reap. Goblin Tunneler. Elemental. We got a foil out of this pack at least. I don't want to spoil it. Let's get back in there. Oh, Evolving Wilds. Oh, Serum Visions. Very solid for an uncommon. 
227 still. Let's go ahead and put that there. Storm Chaser Chimera. Ghostly Prison, another good uncommon. And Protector of the Crown for the rare. So Ghostly Prison, four bucks. Protector of the Crown is a 2-5 giant soldier for six. When Protector of the Crown enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. All damage that would be dealt to you is dealt to Protector of the Crown instead. Kind of like a like a uh, veteran bodyguard, right? So and we got a foil fleeting distraction. And for 49 cents, it's nothing big. Uh, fleeting distraction as a foil, nothing big there. And a conspiracy card, which I don't think those are worth hardly anything. There it is. Okay, next up. Corset, and this is uh, ninth edition. And this is advanced level, not as good as expert. So if you're if you're new to the game, you've been playing for five minutes or so, you might be able to try uh, a ninth edition pack. So um, give it a, give it a shot, you know. White bordered goodness. Some art that you probably don't get to see too often. Let me make sure it's in camera here. Skate Zombies, Stone Rain, reprinted a million times. A lot of these are probably reprinted or versions of them are reprinted over and over through the years. Razor Tooth Rats, cool art. Anarchist, Tangle Bloom, Anaconda, and, and a forest for the rare. No, it's not the rare. Story Circle is the rare. For three, it's an enchantment. A story circle comes into play, choose a color, and you pay a white at will for the next time a source of your choice, wait, source of your choice of the chosen color would deal damage to you this turn and prevent that damage, right? So, not worth a whole lot. There it is. Okay, next up. Fifth Dawn. There's the Infinity Gauntlet right on the front. And uh, you can see it's still priced, so. Wherever I got this from, did not sell, apparently, at the time. I think they go for a little bit more than $369 nowadays, though. Okay, Fifth Dawn, Ferocious Charge. Prowler, a Cat Knight, a Flying Cat Knight. Condescend. Bracers. Just look at that art. You just don't see it too often, right? A Bonus Chant, Pentad Prism. Magnetic Theft, Lunar Avenger, Eternal Witness, that's what I'm talking about, and a Plunge into Darkness, so pretty good there, Com uh, uncommon and rare. Eternal Witness, of course, the classic, and it's a different version, let me fix that. Yeah, I know, the scanner is catching the wrong versions, but most of them are going to be pretty close, but that one's 515. Um, sure, Plunge into Darkness is uh, for two, it's an instant. Choose one, sacrifice any number of creatures, then you gain three life for each sacrificed creature, or pay X life, then look at the top X cards of your library. Put one of those cards into your hand, remove the rest from the game, or you can entwine for one black to choose both if you pay the entwine cost. So cards with some multiple options are always uh, not too bad. So for five bucks, there's Plunge Into Darkness. Okay, next up, Pack of Unstable. My favorite set, and of course it's full of nonsense, like Wall of Fortune. Look at those hexagonal dice there. Not all hex, yeah, yeah. Polygonal, that's what I'm saying. Ground Pounder, split card like that, yeah. Hybrid cards, Capital Offense, the Wrench Rigger. And of course with Unstable, it's all about the, uh, the basic land in the back. But we do have a contraption cannon, an overt operative, not a covert one, a steam powered something or another. It's a locomotive artifact creature. Oh my gosh, we got a foil swamp. Well, that is actually quite a hit right there. And an oddly uneven, and then we got a regular swamp. Well, that's, that's not too shabby right there. So foil island, I think is the best card in the set. Foil swamp is probably not too far behind. So let's take a look. Regular Swamp from Unstable is 396. And uh, oddly uneven for five is a sorcery. Choose one, destroy each creature with an odd number of words in its name. That's too much counting for me. 
Hyphenated words are one word. Or you can destroy each creature with an even number of words in its name. That's funny. And this one would probably be worth two cents. 29, wow, big money. But a foil, unstable swamp here. I'm actually gonna switch it this way. Oh my gosh, well that's the big winner right there. $51 for a foil, unstable swamp. Uh, wow, well I'm feeling pretty good about my packs right now, I gotta say. Um, so the rest of my unstable stuff here, contraptions, neural network, and a top secret tunnel, and a foil. Vampire token, some art on the back, very cool. Um, I'm not even sure if that's, is that worth anything? I think it's the Innistrad token. The unstable foil version is 85 cents. It's a keeper at least, so we'll put it right here. Okay. What is next? Oh my gosh, a pack of alliances. How did this get in there? Well, thank you, Packbot. We will open this up and see if we get lucky again. And I believe that the first ones here are uncommons. I'm going to do this whole thing. One, two, three, four, I believe is the rare. Let's try it. Uh, carrier pigeons, stench of decay. Should be the commons. Phyrexian boon, the bookworms. Um, am I there yet? So, okay, a viscerid drone, I think is uncommon. A death spark, scared by the unseen, and a misfortune. Let's check, is that the rare? That's a rare from Alliances, so for uh, one, a black, a red, and a green. It's a sorcery target opponent chooses one. You put a one one counter on each creature you control and gain four life. Or you put a minus one counter on each creature that opponent controls and misfortune deals four damage to him or her. Which, why would, okay, I'm not sure. I'm not qualified to see if that card is good or not. And check Scarab of the Unseen and find that it's nothing. So there it is. So I think we got two more packs here. Pack of Modern Horizons. Okay. Got a foil elephant. Nothing on the back. Got some cool art. Got a snow covered swamp and a foil elvish fury. Not too big. And a giver of runes. The stepmother of runes right there. She's a one, two core cleric for one white. You can tap her to another target creature you control against protection from colorless or from the color of your choice until end of turn. So almost as good as a mother of runes, but it cannot protect, it, protect itself. Still, I think a pretty solid card nonetheless. And it's five bucks, so there you go. Um, not too shabby. Got a Saddled Rhyme Stag, a Ravens Giant, and a Rot Widow Pack. And I don't know if there's really any good commons in um, Modern Horizons. Feel free to tell me down below as you like and subscribe before I do this pack of Innistrad for the last one here. Let's see. Can we hit another big one like these uh, other two cards here? We shall see. I did get a foil apparently in the back. I didn't see what it was. Here's some comments. It's probably a foil like vent or uh, werewolf flip kind of card, right? Let's see. Diagraph duel. Ghost quarter. That's pickable. Ghost quarter is a buck. Geist catcher's rig. And elder of laurels. It's a uh, human advisor. Two, three for three. You can pay it four and a no, three and a green. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of creatures you control. Not a big one. For the foil, oh, for the foil, a grizzled outcast. So I was right. That's where it was on the back. So there you have it. Thank you very much, Packbot. Thank you very much, viewers, for stopping by Tragic MTG today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I did, and catch you on the next one.